First, visit the Match Testing website. Then, click on Learn More. Here we can view the relevant document of Match Testing. However, our focus today is on the firmware flashing operation. So, click on the Download option at the top of the page, then go to Web Flasher. Connect your L1 Pro with the USB data cable via the Type-C interface. Then, open the Device Manager on your computer. Find the corresponding port number for USB serial device in the port section. For me, the number is COM41. Now let's go back to the web lecture. Click on Select Target Device. Then, go to the Seed group. Choose Seed Wild Tracker L1. Before flashing the firmware, it is necessary to completely erase the device. Click on the icon shaped like a trash can. Then, click on Download UF2. Copy this UF2 file. Enter the DFU mode. Select your device port number, which is the one we just saw in the device manager. The default name of the disk is Tracker L1. Paste this UF2 file into the disk. After the progress bar is completed, click on Open Serial Monitor. Select your serial port. Then, you will find it enter the DFU mode again. At the same time, you will see the serial port information appear below, which indicates that the erasure was successful. Select the device again. Now we are going to flash the firmware. We need to choose a firmware version. Alpha represents the constantly updated test version, while beta refers to the stable version after testing. It is recommended to use the stable version, but the equipment you received is at version 1.3 beta or higher. Therefore, I chose the 2.7.10 alpha version for the demonstration. Click on Flash. S select Continue. Click on Download UF2. Copy this UF2 file. Enter the DFU mode as before. And paste this UF2 file onto the disk. When the disk disappears, it means the device has been successfully updated. You have completed the firmware update. The device will reboot with the new firmware. If the device does not reboot automatically, you can manually press the power switch to turn it on.